Guys, this is Mike with my real estate dojo. As you guys know that follow me on Facebook or YouTube, you know that I've given majority of my stuff to the homeless people and the rest I've sold. And now I have minimal stuff and I'm homeless. And people have asked me over and over, hey Mike, why are you homeless? And you know, part of why I'm homeless is because I wanted to have freedom, okay? And and work on writing like what I'm doing right here. And so, but one thing I wanna share with you is that, you know, running three businesses, my moving company, Dr. Move, Plug In Realty, Mr. Investor, uh, you know, doing coaching, doing free work, you know, it, it, it was a lot of stress, a lot of work, you know, and some of it I still love 100% and some of it I don't love as much anymore uh, because I feel like I graduated, I should go to do something better and to a higher mountain to climb, uh, if that makes any sense. And so what I want to share with you that either, even though that right now I'm free, I don't have any responsibilities, I don't have rent, I don't have electricity, you know, I'm living in the fucking... Uh, streams right here uh, you can see that I still have worry and stress so what I've came to, to realize is that even though if you live in the concrete bubble or if you live in the wilderness you're gonna still have stress because in the wilderness you're gonna have the stress of hey where am I gonna live where am I gonna sleep tonight you know uh, is this road gonna be good you know or, or my tires are gonna go flat or you know is my car gonna break down or you know or all these fucking fears that or worries that I may have even though I work on controlling my mind and just being the observer of my thoughts I want to share this with you that no matter which path you go you're still gonna have stress okay you're still gonna have worries and so because it doesn't matter if you stay where you are if you if you go somewhere else you're still gonna have those things so the best thing is to if you don't want to have those worries or stress is to deal with them from the internal it doesn't matter where you are if you're in Texas if you go to Colorado you go to California uh, if you're having a job that you hate or if you're chasing your dreams you're still gonna have the stress you're still gonna have the worries you're gonna have still have the ups and the downs but that's one thing I want to share with you that said I rather fucking have the worries and stress and ups and downs chasing my fucking dreams instead of working for the man or working in the cubicle or doing something that I don't want to do uh, where you know people pay me and I don't even want to show up okay so and that's one of the reasons I've, you know, are working on selling and will sell my moving company or just give it away is because for the first seven, I've been in business almost 15 years now. For the first seven years, I used to love the business, man. I took it from a hundred bucks to seven trucks, you know, uh, never borrowed any money from the bank. It was very, very fun. I created my own software, the first company ever to give you a guaranteed flat rate moving quote uh, right through your website without having an on-site estimate come out there you know I, I did IT part I did the moving I was one of the first companies to uh, if not the first to charge uh, a deposit before the movers even came out there to make sure the movers would come up so that there was no double booking because in the moving industry it was um, notorious for double booking lucky come on one second let me make sure my dog's okay all right so coming to the story of doing what you love lucky okay I found him coming to the story of doing what you love for the first seven years of my moving business I loved it you know I was into it then for the next seven years I was an absentee business owner. I I was tackling di different goals, different dreams, but I still held, held on to the business. And I don't think that was the right thing to do because I didn't love it anymore. 
you know, and if you don't love it, you're not going to fight for it as much as you want. And I was getting paid and I wasn't even at the office for seven years. I wasn't even at the office. So, uh, like I just manage people over to Skype or online or things of that nature. Now, you know, I stay on forest service road, 181.1 a then turn right onto us 40 East. Uh, excuse me. So I was just doing it all remotely and I didn't have love for it, even though I got paid for it. So coming to the story where if you think freedom is not having bills or this and that, you're not going to have any stress. You're not going to have any worries. No, you're still going to have those stuff. Okay. And it's better to chase your fucking dreams things that make you 100 percent happy and then be able to let go when it's time because one of my thing is I, I wasn't able to let go i should have sold that business a long time ago for example in 2006 i had a fucking offer on my business for a lot of money a million bucks and i didn't take it because at that time my ex-wife didn't want me to fucking do it and so for the next seven years you know we had people manage it so it was just like See, now these are regrets. These are one of the reasons I've came out here because there was major decisions that I didn't wanted to make that I didn't take control of my own decisions. I relied on other people to help me make a decision. And at the end of the day, I wasn't happy and those people are not in my life. So, you know, and I don't want that to happen to you. And that's what I'm trying to teach my students is that guys, you gotta go take action. You gotta think for yourself. You can't listen to other people. You already have the answer inside your heart. You already know what the fuck to do. And your job is to just listen to it. And that's about it, dude. So, you know, um, one other thing is, man, one of the re reasons I'm out here, you know, and I'm actually gonna do a video of listing all the reasons why I'm out here. But I read this book, uh, I forgot the title of it, but I'll post it up if you guys want it. And it talked about these guys, PhD guys, and they did a survey of a lot of fucking people on their deathbed. And majority of the regrets... In 300 feet, make a U-turn. The, the majority of the regrets people had was that... The regret of not chasing their dreams and not being happy, okay? So that... And... So far in my life, I've chased my dreams from high school, college, and you know, I, f I feel like after I got married the first time, I, I stopped. I felt like I'd achieved what I wanted to achieve, which really wasn't, you know, and I wasn't flowing like water, so I stelled up. And to flow like water, like Bruce Lee said, is the best way. And that's another reason I'm out here, on top of the book reason, because the book said that most of these people that were dying that were unhappy is because they had regrets you know choices they reflect back and they, they wish that they did x or y and when i read that it really made a lot of sense to me i've been thinking about selling my business this this for seven years but i've just been bullshitting lack of decision making and it's been killing me and so I, best thing is to start all over because to be hungry is the best thing turn man right, stay on forest service road 181. sorry guys then turn right onto US without Paris. hunger imagination creativity in my mind you, know, you can't do great things you know uh luxuries give you comforts and comforts give you weaknesses and then weaknesses give you blindness and then blindness you lose focus and you don't know what the fuck you're doing anymore so the best thing is to just be hungry and chase your dreams uh, and be willing to work for free if you're willing to work for free then I think you're on the right path and I, I believe you'll make some money and, and if you're willing to work for free doesn't mean you can't get a part-time job or something like that to pay the bills but the best thing is it's better to chase your dreams now that said when I first gradu graduated college I had to do whatever I had to do because I was living in my car and, and I started my moving company. I didn't love that business, but I just wanted to make some money. Uh, and the way I started that moving company is because I was doing personal training and I read about rich dad, poor dad, learning about cash flow quadrants. And I, I realized I was in the S quadrant and I needed to have a B 
So I, I, I figured, you know, a B was a better way to go. So I, I started moving companies because I could have multiple people doing moves for me, me being at Starbucks, um, per se. Okay. Um, what else? And so the point I'm trying to say is like in the beginning, I had to do whatever it took. I mean, some people have reached out to me, they're homeless, they have family, this and that, but they're just sitting on their back. They don't have a job. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? You know, it's like if I, when I first started out, I do whatever it took. You know, I got a little money in the bank, so it's like, that's why I can't do this. But I, if I didn't, you know, I, I, it's still hard to live homeless, man, to live in your car and I know where the fuck you're going to sleep. So, um, in the beginning, you got to do whatever is required. The point I'm trying to make is once you get to a level where, where you feel like you're comfortable, then if your dreams are not the same, then it's better to change because that's what I didn't do. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys, okay? So don't go out there and hustle and bustle. If you're scared, trust me, I'm scared, but I'm taking actions. And I'm going to let you know, America's a great place to, to live. This is the best country ever. And um, you can do whatever you fucking want. You know, you can get shit from Starbucks. You could go to the library. Uh, it's going to be hard if you don't have electricity, you don't have internet. Um, but tough shit, that's life. Go out there and hustle, guys. Don't 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 take no for an answer. If you like these videos, please like, please share, please comment. See you later.